Hello, welcome back to our Minecraft series. This is our second episode. And in our first episode, we did this little mine area. I showed you how I dig out three by three walls, this one, and then do my hallway, two space and a hallway. Uh, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you're having a great day. And uh, I wanted to show you a trick that I learned while uh, I was doing some mining, trying to get some diamond tools and stuff, which I did manage to get a diamond pickaxe which allows you to get some obsidian and uh, if I can remember what hallway it is I think it's this one uh, I didn't I found a lava pit and I knew that if you dumped uh, a bucket of water on lava straight up that that would turn the obsidian or the lava into obsidian what I didn't know is that you get the water back so watch this okay so we got I cleared this all out, obviously. And so here's our uh, pool of lava and a bucket of water. And you can just pop it here. Look at that. You get the water back. And that's not even where I was aiming. <laughs> so that's all. That's what I did for a while here. And I got us. Um, oh, look at that. That messed up. We'll just edit that part out. Uh, yeah, I'll be back for that later. Um, <laughs> we got a bunch of obsidian. I got about 16 obsidian up top where. Uh, for future things uh, crafting table and a another portal is what I had in mind for that And of course there's ender chests and whatnot a couple other things that use obsidian uh, But yeah, I dug out a little ways on uh, most of these tunnels here and uh, I managed to get the Diamond pick like I was saying and a couple other diamonds and a good amount of uh, building materials and that was my plan for today was to build a little starter house and uh, just get a little bit of a farm going. I have a, like a couple plots by the river for uh, wheat seeds and in the future I'm going to use those wheats to wrangle up some cows and I'm going to be doing a uh, cow squisher which uses the um, entity cramming to pretty much farm cows and I'll show you all that when we get to it. So here's what I got in our chests. Plenty of uh, cobblestone, of course. Nice deep slate amounts. And a decent amount of iron, too. I've been making picks like crazy and going through them. And uh, five extra diamonds and plenty of coal. Up here is some of my wood stuff, uh, which, yeah, I'll probably use a little bit of. I'm going to grab some of it now while we're talking about it. And I'm um, going to grab some cobble. I have a little bit of an idea of what I want to do uh, for our, um, our building here. Not, it's not going to be huge, but it'll be enough to get us going until we get the, uh, uh, the, the other plan that I have planned uh, in motion. So let's just grab ooh, gold and make another crafting table so we have it down there. And yeah, what do we got for time here? Okay, we got a little bit of time. Uh, so what my plan was, so right here is where I got my farm. It's just, it's pretty small. It's like 12, I think it's 12 spaces. Ooh, look at that. We got a bee out there. That's good, that's good. Because we definitely want to do some bee action. What I haven't seen is uh, the cows that I want to use to do the cow squisher yet. Um, they'll be probably out here somewhere. I haven't been back over here. I don't know how far that goes, but anyways, um, let's just go over here. I think I'm just going to be pretty close to this little farm area and uh, our mine here for now. Easier to gather our resources up and whatnot. So let's go ahead and grab you, cobblestone, the piggy. And uh, this is going to be a pretty small little area here. Here's some of this riffraff out of here. And then probably do oh, I left the door open golly okay um let's go one two three four five six um so what I like to do is usually use cobblestone as like the foundation bit that you can see Ooh, maybe and then I'll fill in the floor with uh whatever material I want the floor to be in so what do we got here one two three four four spaces in the middle let's go six spaces in the middle uh, my my thought of that is so I have eight 
this is eight long one two three four five six seven eight i have one on each side that gives me six spaces in the middle and then oops let's not use my diamond pick and we're just gonna do this little guy here what's up pig i'm gonna bring this wall go like that and then i'm gonna bring this guy out small ways as kind of like an entryway like so okay and that's gonna be a, just a little blueprint of floor floor plan um and that should be plenty for uh the beginnings that we're gonna have here so let's do a hmm, we're gonna do a crafting table we do it on the corner hmm. i might move that later uh, let's see let's go with I mean, I could just, just do cobblestone for the flooring. I got plenty of cobble. Let's do that. Uh, I usually use wood or something in the uh, flooring. But since I have the cobble and it's the beginning of the game, I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, cobblestone for the floor. And it looks like it's getting dark, so we got to run back up to our mine. Oh, hi, chicken. And uh, go to sleep so that we don't get attacked by all the critters that are out here. Oh boy. Maybe I should grab a bed too while I'm thinking about it and bring it over. I've been working on a little farm over there too with the uh, sugar cane. Uh, just going over there when I see it and cutting it up and planting it again and trying to uh, exponentially grow it like you do with sugar cane. As well as bamboo too, but I don't have any of that yet. So let's go ahead and grab this bitty by time. And I'm going to pick the bed up and we'll move it to where we're building. Um, do we need any more resources while we're up here? I got a, I got a door. I usually use two doors. Let's grab that. I, you know, I got the space. Let's just, let's just grab some of this stuff. Uh, the deep slate would be good. We'll take some deep slate. I'll use that as the roof. I'll definitely use deep slate a lot in the, uh, the bigger build that we'll do later. Which I'm looking forward to doing. I think it'll be, I think it'll turn out well. And it should, yeah, it'll be cool. And uh, here we go. Okay, so we got the... Let's go here and let's grab some stairs. I wish I had my stone cutter for stairs. At least in my cobble. Not that cobble's hard to get, I guess. We'll do like that. One of these, one of those. Okay, that'll work. And then let's grab our doors. Kind of weird order, I guess, that I'm doing this in, but it'll work. Um, let's go, I want that to be the corner, so let's go like this. And then what I need to do is also get some dang old sand for windows, which I totally just forgot about, honestly. But that's going to be no problem to grab that. So we just got a little, little base here. I go, I like to have three spaces on the inside, so that means you got to go four up, including the, uh, the roof. So the roof pieces that I, I'll usually use stairs for roof pieces, and that will go on the fourth block up top there. So let's just go ahead and finish filling this in. So with house, this house here, we could do two different types of roofs. So uh, a hip roof is when you go around and I just place blocks like that, you know, just in line. Uh, and then I could do a gabled roof, which is when you have the roof that comes up here into a triangle and then this is all while well, that triangle follows through and then you kind of do like a dormer here a dormer is like is when you have like your roof line and then there's like a room that's inside the roof line well i think i'll do that it's a little bit more complicated but this is a pretty simple design so um, i'll start with the, the gabled roof over on this end uh, and when i do that i will usually start with whoops um, the the gable end, which is the pointy bit, and I'll show that right here. So I got my roof started like this, go on the end. I always like to have one hangover. I think it looks pretty good. And then I go back and put in upside down stairs um, in here, and I'll show that in just a minute. And I uh, go like this, go across. Okay, so I know that here on the top, I'm going to have a stair. So I can go one more here. So this is going to be a stairs. Let's do it now. Put some here and we'll go across here down okay and then we go up and then you just fill this in you repeat that process 
and then you have a gabled end. Okay, one more. Like this. And when you have, uh, I think it's an even number, if I'm remembering right, you'll have this where the stairs come together in a nice even peak. Uh, if you do an odd number, then you'll have a block in between it, which you can use um, and make a different design if you want to do it flat or whatever you want to do there. But I like the, um, the even like this, where it comes up and it's all good. All right, I'm going to finish up the, the beginnings of this roof line, and then when we get to the dormer part, uh, I'll bring it back and we can uh, walk, walk through that together. Okay, so this is where we're going to have the dormer part start to work into our roof here. Uh, so we, I just did the triangle across. Oh, or all the way. I didn't hang over right on this side, but I will hang over all the way. And uh, you just go ahead and you continue. Oh, I got to grab some more uh, stairs, I guess. Uh, grab you like that. And I'm going to do some extra because I like these uh, stairs. I use them a lot. Um, while I'm here, I'm just going to throw some torches in here. Pick this up. Okay. And we'll go back up top here. And, uh, yeah. So we'll grab stairs like that. And then in here, you don't need this. You don't need these pieces in here. Because we want this to do that. We want this piece to bend into this, uh, this other side. This is going the wrong way, so we'll get rid of you. And we'll pop you there and you there. And in this case, since we're on the edge here, uh, it's it might uh, it's gonna it's gonna be different on this end than it is on the other, and that's okay. If you were to build this corner bit more uh, toward the center of the roof line, it's just the same on either side, where you're gonna have the, the bendy parts on the, uh, the I guess the base of it. So here too. So these stairs are kind of finicky sometimes, uh, but that time it worked out great. So, yep, you just go and you line up the uh, the stairs, the new stairs on the dormer, and then you have your um, your roof line. Maybe a little bit. You're gonna have that the, the angle in your roof line. So there you go. That's all. Well, mostly finished. Let's clean this up a little bit. Plop you there, and then this guy's upside down. So let's get rid of that. And I want to have that stick out, and it looks like the sun's going down again, so let's quickly finish this up. I do have the bed on me, so we'll, we will sleep quick and then uh, and finish this up. Okay, and we're in here, and then let's go ahead and drop our bed. I'm going to rearrange this inside, of course, uh, just for now, just throwing stuff in. So I do need to put in some chests as well. And uh, if you haven't noticed, there's no windows in here yet. So I'll, I'll go back and when I get some um, some sand and glass and put them in. Okay, so we got 16. We're definitely going to need more than 16. So it's always hard to know how many uh, blocks you're going to need when you're just building and you know, not counting everything the whole way through. Okay, and then this is going to go... And this might look a little goofy. Let's see if we can make it pretty good here. Okay, we're gonna run back over here. We gotta go back on top of the roof. And we'll go over on this side. Oop, this side, I mean. Okay, and finish the roof line up. And you're gonna go there. So, that's not right. Get rid of this guy. So that's, that'll work, I guess. I don't love it, but Maybe you can play with it a little bit and figure it out. Um, let's see. Did I finish this over here? I did. Okay. So let's take a step back and check out our roof. Get rid of those guys in a minute. Ooh. Another air. Okay. So there's our basic roof line. So you have the gabled end on this. Uh, I might fill this in with stone just so it blows a little bit more. And then the gable comes across this way. And it ends over here. To this pointy bit. The dormer. It's just, it's, I don't know if it really counts as a dormer, but it's basically a dormer. 
and uh there you go and that's how you do a roof like that it's a just little little guy little house um and then some finishing touches for building um something that i just recently started doing is grabbing your stairs that you were building for the roof and kind of filling in this area here um with the stairs it kind of just gives it an extra extra little um character to it and i think it looks pretty good so put that there and then we will go back over here how do we do how to be able to do something with this let's play with this a little bit okay i don't have any bamboo yet so i gotta do that with uh cobble eventually this is gonna Let's see what this looks like when it uh, reaches down. Oh, that's not what I wanted. When it reaches down here. Okay. Uh huh. Oh. Hey, dude. Watching me build. Okay, these are kind of in the way. Let's get this pillar out. And then we'll go back over here and let's fill this in and see what it looks like once we fill it in. Come on. I can see that's gonna work. There we go. Oops. Do click happy there. Okay, that one's right. That'll work. That'll work. And that'll work. Okay. So, oh, now well, I'm swimming. I'm gonna definitely fill that in and uh, get rid of it. There, that's much better. There, it flows much better like that. Okay. Yep. So there we go. There's our there's our roof and um, and uh, now we get to do the inside. So I will uh, get get to moving and get to clean it up a little bit, and I'll bring you back. Oh hey, welcome back! I was just about to go get you. I'm just finishing up the last touches on uh, our inside of our roof here in our house that we built. Um, you can see that I threw in some windows. I'll give you a look out from the outside here first. Um, there's our roof that we just finished up. I threw in a corner window here. I tried to I try to do windows that look good from the outside as well as on the inside uh, this is pretty bare right now I'll probably throw in some more detail work stay over there um, but I wanted to bring you back and show you what I had so far uh, here's another nice interior window I did a little bit of uh, landscaping work out here build up that pond that we had and um, I'll take you inside um, yep and I threw in bunch of chests over here in the corner for our temporary storage uh, I haven't sorted this at all obviously it's just a mess of things these were this is all the stuff that was up in the mine and uh, I brought it down so we can have better access to it uh, over here we have our furnaces that I cooked up all the sand in to make the glass and uh, these are just more of the stairs that we used to build the roof I had left over so I, I threw them in here and got obviously grabbed here in the corner and then these are some barrels with trapdoors on them. This is spruce trapdoor on either side. And then this guy is the oak. And you can, I mean, you could flip this open and then get the angle right and click that barrel. Or, of course, you just can hit down here. And that's what my plan was. So I usually, I mean, I don't always fill out these barrels when I put them above the kitchen area. That's kind of what my idea was for this. Uh, I just kind of like how they look. So yeah, um, I might do some carpet in here with the sheep that we have walking around, but uh, that'll be for a later episode. So this is our little starter house completed um, with a little bit more detailing probably going to happen. I'll have to decide if I want to tear it down when we make our next base or leave it. I kind of like it. It's just a nice little kind of cabiny area. Um, I got a little bit of wheat that I harvested over here from this little patch. Um, and then the next episode, my plan is to go ahead and get some cows which i found over i think it was that direction that's how i got the spruce for the spruce trappers and i'm gonna bring them to to us and make a cow crusher which uses the entity cramming to farm you cows so if you want to see that episode you'll have to come back and uh catch it it'll be probably in a couple days here i'll have it up so i hope to see you on that episode and i hope you've enjoyed this episode of minecraft and uh have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time